So our probe has been warming up for about 10 minutes, and now we're going to calibrate it. Um, so to do that, you want to take it out of the distilled water it's been sitting in. And so again, to make that easier, you just want to unscrew the lid a little bit, and that will allow you to pull this out from the section. And we're going to place it in the sodium sulfite solution. But before we do that, we're going to use our um, LabQuest. And you have to go and pull the stylus out from the back to select the calibration mode. So if you click on the sensor, an option will come up to zero or calibrate. So we're going to choose calibrate. All right, so the screen looks like this, and we want to select Calibrate Now. And then we're going to put this in the tip of the sodium sulfate. It should just be a little bit down into the solution just to cover the bottom of the probe. And then on the screen, you'll see a voltage reading. And you just want to wait until the voltage has stabilized. And once it has, you want to enter reading 1 as 0. Just over here with the number. And then hit Keep. All right, so we've done our first part of the calibration. Now we're going to do the second part. And for that, we need the container that the probe was in before, this guy. Now it was full of water, but now we just want a little bit. So I actually poured some out of this one earlier, but I'll just pour a little bit more just to remind you. And in between putting the probe from this solution into this one. We need to rinse it off a little bit, and we're going to do that with distilled water as well. The directions say to blot off the surface of the probe, so I just use a paper towel to wipe it off, and then wave it a little bit so that it dries. Now we're ready to put it in the distilled water. So it's important in this step that you actually don't get the probe wet on the bottom. So the directions in the direction manual suggest that you take the lid off, which is hard to do with one hand. <laughs> I got it. Um, and then put the lid on so it's about a quarter of an inch covered. And then screw the lid on. That ensures that you don't accidentally get it wet. So after I do that, I'm going to come back to my screen and look for my voltage reading. Again, to stabilize over here, and I see that it's not moving. And then we're going to enter the number that the dissolved oxygen would be at our altitude and at the current temperature. So for us today, that's 9. So I just hit 9. Oh yeah, and you can look that up in the chart that's in your directions manual, but we'll help you with that. So you hit 9, and then keep, and then OK, we're all calibrated. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> um, that's it.